So I just want to share with you a real simple tip that is making a big difference to my game. Now, the thing that I've been working on in my game and also with a lot of students of mine recently is connection of the arms. OK, so I've been playing a little bit of golf recently, but I hadn't been filming my swing. And what I didn't realize until I actually played with a student of mine the other day, he said, your swing looks a little upright. And he was right. When I videoed it, I didn't realize my arm was quite elevated. It was quite high. And this is what I've been saying. We've been creating videos recently on the release. And what I've been saying is if you are somebody who is noticing that you're getting a lot of arm rotation and you feel like you're having to work really hard to square the face, the main reason that's contributing to that is a lack of connection between your arms and body. So if I sort of demonstrate a couple of takeaway positions, if I take the club back when my arms are away, that's going to promote for more forearm rotation, which means as I come down, I'll come down, more forearm rotation. If I can get the feeling of my arms being more connected to my body, see the club face is much squarer. And then if I start the downswing and again, my arms more connected, the face will come down squarer as opposed to this way. So these were things that I was feeling and I sort of knew I was struggling a little bit with the club face and things like my starting direction, but because I wasn't really videoing it, I sort of naively kind of just amplified this swing problem. So the feeling is, and I've been sharing this with you guys recently, the one draw which I really like is uh, trail hand underneath. So back of hands are in contact with one another and just use your trail hand to lift your lead arm up. Okay, and to me that just feels like I'm trying to really get my arm close and reduce any rotation. And in reality, what it's doing is it's stopping my arm go too high and it's getting my arm more through my shoulder line. Now, the big thing that's made a massive difference is in the downswing, I'm pretty happy with my rotation. I'm pretty happy with my ball striking and movement, but I need to start getting a little bit more width. Okay, so the feeling that I've been playing around with is getting my palm pointing down towards the floor. Now, this is a feeling, okay, and also if some of you are worried about the idea of this producing steepness, you'd be correct. If I got my trail palm pointing down towards the floor, then we'd be struggling. But if I move my upper arm to the side of my body, whilst I get the feeling of pointing my hand down towards the floor, all it's going to do is it's going to help square the face a little bit earlier and it's going to basically help me get the club still on plane. See, I'm not talking about doing this. I'm talking about doing this and this. And then all of a sudden, this is helping me get the face square. Club comes more this way. And then that way, my club face is feeling much square at the bottom part of the swing and already starting to notice some big, big improvements with both ball striking, but also with consistency as well. And I've been seeing this with a lot of students. I've just been making sure people that have been basically visiting or reaching out for help online, they do the similar thing. Get those arms a little bit more connected. Get the feeling of the palm point a little bit more to the floor as you turn. And all of a sudden you're going to notice why the club face is going to feel way more stable and you're going to hit the ball way, way better. So work on it. Get the arm connected in the backswing. As long as your upper arm moves to the side of your body, you can get the feeling of the palm point down. And then from this type of position, you're going to notice the way you can just rotate through the ball and you won't need to feel as much club face manipulation. See you soon.